Hi, this is Mike Shaw with SilkWeb. Welcome to this video on building assignments in Canvas. Hopefully uh, you have watched the other videos and I've uh, been keeping up with uh, the process on building uh, the complete course. In, uh, in this video, we'll focus on creating an assignment. So let's uh, go to our Canvas course that we've been working on. And uh, like the other videos, we're going to start with uh, creating a new item. It's going to, in this case, it lands right on assignment. But uh, if you click on that drop down menu, you'll see the other options. So we're going to click on assignment here, new assignment, and then we have to create a label. The label must be a unique label. Um, so going back to our course map that we've been working on in the other videos, uh, if you uh, use the, our template available for free on silkweb.com, um, uh, we have uh, pre-made labels for you to use. So in this case, it's going to be assignment 1.1, and that tells you that uh, this is the assignment in module one, and it's the first assignment. So if there's two assignments, you would have assignment 1.1 and 1.2. And cl simply click Add Item. Now we'll want to go into that and edit. So just grabbing our boilerplate content from our template. Just want to add that in. Um, one thing you should always keep in mind with assignments is you want your instructions to tell the learners uh, what is due, where it will be submitted, when is, when is it due, and how it should be done. Uh, so clear, concise instructions for that. If you use our boilerplate, uh, that will help you out uh, quite a bit. Uh, this uh, tells this, the learners when it's due and how to submit it. Um, so you'll want to uh, include the instructions on what they're actually going to do. And be as precise as possible. Um, remember, uh, in this case, uh, the learners uh, aren't necessarily uh, going to have the advantage of learning what you uh, or being in a classroom and hearing what you would normally tell them uh, during a lecture. So if you want them to submit a 4,000 uh, word essay on, on the Roman Empire, then uh, you'll want to say that specifically here. Leave no nothing uh, to guess. Even if it's in your syllabus, you want to make sure that you include all the details here as you can. And that's going to really cut down on the amount of questions you get from the students later on and really just guarantee their success on the project. Uh, the points, I always recommend 100 points. And uh, we'll go into the grade book on, in another video and I'll show you how we can uh, group the assignment types so that uh, maybe all the assignments are worth 10% of the grade, uh, yet each assignment is worth 100 points. So we'll talk about that later again. Now the assignment group, um, we can click assignments or we can create a new group also. So maybe this is uh, the uh, projects. Could be anything you want. And tell them what type of submission. Um, so I recommend online and click on file upload. Um, obviously, they have the choice of media recording, a website, or a text entry also. And a text entry, you know, that's going to be text right into uh, Canvas. But file upload allows them to upload a PowerPoint or a Word document, something like that. Um, if you scroll down, if it's a group assignment, you can select that, and then this is going to uh, 
send you down another uh, branch of the uh, of Canvas. I uh, will go over this in a different video. And this the default is everyone. Usually you'll probably want to use that. And obviously uh, you'll want to provide a due date and available. You may want to make it just available during this module so they can't skip ahead. And also uh, make sure that they um, don't have access to it after the due date, more than likely, depending on how your class is set up. So we're just going to put some dates in here and we're going to save and publish. Remember, uh, the choices are save. Uh, if you save, it saves a draft and the students can't see it. When you save and publish, the students can see it. So we need to uncheck that in order to go forward. And uh, we'll talk about rubrics later, but this is where you'll have a chance to upload a rubric right here. And uh, they're pretty simple to uh, design, and we'll go through that in a different video. And now we can go back to modules. And this shows us our assignment, also shows us the due date. And that concludes the video on building assignments. Uh, in the next video, we will uh, go into quizzes.